Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel, and happy Sunday afternoon. We got a top story that broke out today from Celebrity Insiders. You know, they're the ones that be um, breaking news on celebrities and what they're doing out there in those social media streets, okay? What's trending on social media today on this certain platform, and probably all over, you know, the social media platforms, but I just got it from them. Once again, I'm getting uh, this information, this top story, this bit of key from Celebrity Insider, and they go around the world. They're global, okay? But I'm breaking it to you on Debs for Nails for today's world, so get into it. All right? We got this article written by Mel Walker, who must be an employer or employee of the Celebrity Insider News Rag, okay? The title reads, Candy Burris reveals that NeNe Leakes is friendless. Again, that's friendless on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Will Kenya Moore return, make things worse? Now, my sidebar, of course. <laughs> of course, of course it's going to make things worse. But it's going to be spicy and it's going to be juicy, okay? And NeNe ain't good at really giving any reads. But Kenya Moore, she comes in just like a tornado. She twirls, she twirls, she twirls with a cute little self. And I'm pretty sure she's going to be giving us a little raw taste of Mark Daly and her baby Brooklyn along the way. Yes, the journey of season 12. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But getting back to this commentary that was written by Mel Walker, she goes on to say, uh, the situation around NeNe Leakes and her relationship with her fellow co-stars on The Real Housewives of Atlanta has not gotten any better after the nasty exchanges at the reunion show. Okay, In fact, recent reports indicate that Leakes has a slim chance of ever getting back in good graces of any of her onset colleagues, including Cynthia Bailey, Portia Williams, and Eva Marcel. And of course, you got Tanya Sams. And now Kenya Moore added to the mix as there is a lot of drama and nasty shades from all sides. Yes, I'm here for it. Keep reading. This came in a recent interview from Candy Burris, who claimed that Leaks is facing strong disagreements with the other ladies. And this has made it impossible for them to be friends. OK, combined with her stern attitude, this has been a recipe for disaster for quite some time, according to Burris, who's explained. Nene is hilarious, y'all. She's a hardworking woman and she's a great businesswoman. And I love her go getter attitude. Now, my sidebar intended. Come on, Candy, you said the same uh, shit pretty much about um, Cynthia Bailey. Okay, on my last interview, on my last little short video, okay? So, are you just, like, copying and pasting all of these statements when you go on interviews and you have to talk about your castmates? <laughs> Can you not come up with something a little bit more interesting and exciting instead of giving us the same old drag Play by play that you go on and give everybody. Everybody's wonderful in your eyes. Everybody's a great businesswoman. Everybody is this, that, and third. Come on, Candy. Give us some concrete news, some keys, some dish, some dirt, baby girl. And that's on my point. Getting back to the article that was written. Um, Candy goes on to say, you know, Nini's hilarious. Nini's a hard worker. Nini's a good businesswoman. And she has a go-getter attitude. Okay. Not many people in the circle are on the same page as her, which is obvious. And I don't know if any of them are interested in fixing yet. But let's see. Nene is queen reign of everything right now. Queen reign of the drama circle. So, uh, no. I think Kenya will give her a run for her money. Yes. And I'm here for it. Moving back on to the article. Um, it gives us some cute little pics of Nene. You have to go to the Celebrity Insider to get that feedback. I'm just giving you what I got for the reading material. Okay, going back, it says, Leaks took some time to talk about the problems on the show. Said recently, explaining her feelings about the whole situation. Yes, of course, Nene was doing that because she was on radio shows uh, with some radio personalities. Uh, expressing her opinion about what she felt, not about her friends, but her colleagues, her co-workers. That's how she looks at them now. <laughs> Don't know if it'll change, but she still got a little 
piece of, of friendship with Candy Burris, okay? Don't know why she's keeping that so sacred. I don't know. But they're definitely not in the same age group. Don't really float around the same people. So, I don't know. Maybe she's keeping Candy as an ally because Candy is strong in the entertainment business. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Nene might want to cut an album one day. <laughs> so, she wants to stay in good graces with Miss Candy Burr. So, moving back on to the commentary that was written on this article on the situation. It says, she admitted that she did have some harsh feelings towards her co-stars. This is Nene talking. She mostly saw them as co-workers, not friends. Then she explained that she saw herself as more strategic in her thinking than others on the reality series, claiming that she was playing chess while others were playing checkers. No, no, Nene, I think you're playing dominoes. <laughs> I think you're playing dominoes, baby. But okay, or craps or some shit, but you ain't playing chess, baby, or you will be a little bit more precise when you're giving your drama, I would never see you out there as you have definitely been on season 11, 10 as well, crying about Greg, crying about this, crying about ain't nobody that support you. You all by yourself. Da -da -dee, da -da -da. I'm like, girl, don't you have some family members, okay, that are not in the entertainment business that you can go, go take back to Athens and chit chat it up with and, and find some solitude? Or do you not have any other family? I'm concerned about you. Okay? I'm just concerned, little baby girl. Okay, going back to the article. It said, uh, of course, she was playing chess. They playing checkers. That's her tagline. She loves to use that every day she does an interview. Okay, my pun intended, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says the actress and businesswoman said, after 11 seasons, I finally realized that these girls are my co-workers. They all were trying to secure the bag because half of them are boring. So they had no other choice but to come for me. They tried to come for me. How about that? These girls come on this show playing checkers. I'm already over here playing chess. It's so ridiculous to me for them to act like let's all link up together and act like we're nice and stuff when they really aren't. Oh, Nene. <laughs> My poor, poor Nene. That was my pun intended. I'm going to conclude this article by leave, uh, um, spilling out or uh, telling y'all the last sentence in the um, article that this young lady wrote on this uh, piece. She says, Burris is so far the only one who has seems to tolerate the presence of police, while the rest of the show stars have been mostly negative towards her. I'm like, now this is all my pun intended at this last part of this commentary. Nene got exactly what she got when it comes to these ladies because she's always using Marlo as her sidekick to go dig up dirt. Maybe she asked uh, Marlo to do it. Maybe she didn't. But either way, Marlo is the true bone carrier when it comes to dishing up dirt and putting it on a platter of elegance <laughs> when she exposes what she exposes. And she does bring receipts. Not only receipts, she brings bodies, okay, that can go on and tell the story where we can see them spilling out of their mouth the juice that we're here to pour up and serve to ourselves. Yes, Nene is the one excuse me, that likes to keep up drama, all right? But she don't really necessarily put it out there. She listened to it, and then she says, okay, now how am I going to dissect this to the other people because when everything starts to go left and Nene feels that she needs to tell the potential person that is going to uh, affect, she feels she needs to go on and relate the news because they look up to her uh, when it comes to breaking bad news or looking at a piece of news and trying to dissect it and find positivity out of it. I'm like, girl, when you want to act like an elder and give solid advice and have these women coming to you looking for you to tell the truth and they can trust, you want to sit there and act like, on the other hand, they try to destroy you. 
<laughs> but you're part of the mess too, Nene, and you do it well. I'm like, how you gonna claim these girls coming after you? And that's all you've been doing is coming after them throwing what you call shade every time you get a chance. You're always feeling like you are the head bitch in charge all the time, all day, every day. And no one can possibly take that title from you. Okay, so you're putting yourself up there as the villain. And as such, you should take your medicine when some of, when some of it comes back to be served up to you sometimes. But no, then you have to go into all this crying spells. You have to say nobody's on your side. You've been going through a lot. Da -da -dee, da -da 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 -da. And you want everybody to come to your rescue and have a pity party with you. But I was here for it for Susan 11. They were like, uh-uh. And Marlo was your ace boon coon. She was drilling in two into you the hardest telling you girl i had to get my hair done and mama don't miss those kinds of appointments and my eyebrows too and shit i probably want to get my nails done after i don't spend all that time to have that other stuff done but no greg called me all in concern that you having a little breakdown a little um minor breakdown and i need to check on you so i had to cancel my appointment to come see what was up then i thought gonna buy you a gift and then you gonna act like you crazy, like you doing this, that, and that. Huh? Marlo got up from that table. So she don't finna go. I ain't got time for this. Let me see if I can get up with my real people. And then he was crying, boo hoo, and said, No, don't go. It's just me. I apologize. Because she know. She know. If she break uh, friendships with uh, Marlo, Marlo is her secret weapon for gossip. So she always had to keep her pacified. Got to keep her, you know. So, and, and and in good graces with her, because she needs Marlo. She really needs Marlo. Marlo will ever forever be a person in my eyes that deserve her peach. Okay, but maybe something in her past is just preventing her to become a peach holder. Because Lord knows, if they gave Marlo a peach, Nene would be non-existent. Because Marlo just had that class about herself. I don't care what you say about Marlo and her other interests that she do, her other business that's not so kosher that she loves to partake in. Not putting that out on screen because y'all know what I mean when I'm talking about Miss Marlo. Help this. And her escort service she got going over there. Oops, did I say it? All right, I'm sorry. But you know how she goes, okay? So I don't know if Andy really wants that type of issue on his channel, on his in his franchise, on his entertainment, okay? True entertainment, payroll. But it just is what it is. So Nene need to just pipe down, take her medicine when it is served up, when somebody gets some breasts about themselves and want to tear into her and set her straight and set the plan field back right. <laughs> but that's all I had for this story, y'all. I thought it was a cute little piece of tea. Wanted to bring it to you on Dale Chanel's 48th World. Again, that's Dale Chanel 48 world okay get into it share my videos like my videos thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i will see you next video guys bye bye